hey welcome back to the channel well today we're going to do something a little bit different we're going to do a scene while we're looking through a window this is just acrylic paint i haven't put any oil on there yet hey guys don't forget to like and subscribe for more future videos and thanks for watching all right i think it's about time to get started here i'm going to take a smidge if i can pull me out a smidge of phthalo blue I just want a little tiny bit. This is actually some mountains back here, but I want to use a brush today because I want them far back. I'm not going to use a knife today because there, there's not much there. I mean, <laughs> you know, if, if I was if I wanted them a little closer, I'd use a knife so you could see the detail. And that's typically how it works. The further something away is, the less detail it has. So we're just, I'm just going to paint these in right here. Just paint them in. Yeah, I come up with this idea the other day. I thought, man, this is, I haven't done one of these in a long time. I have done one while looking through a window a long time ago. Nobody hardly watches it because it's so far back in the videos. But I figured this would be a good one. I like to try to do things different, find different stuff. So I can try to please everybody. Because everybody likes different stuff. Everybody's different. This is about all the sky there is. I mean, there's not much here. And I do. I did put liquid white in case I didn't tell you that already. Let me get. Let me just get a little small brush here. I'll probably get a number two, maybe number two round I'm just going to make some very light blue mountains I'm just going to let's see which direction do we want our sun um, let's say it's coming down this way today so I'm going to start on this side and I'm just going to out put the lines in where I want my mountains I actually had to draw grids. I don't know if you guys know what that is when you grid something out. Not for this, but for this part. If you don't know what that is, one of these days I might show you. It's just, it's pretty simple. <laughs> you just take your picture and draw grids on it. Then you take the, take the grids with the same distances and you put them on here. And then you can draw your stuff out in grids. And that way, if you have something that's kind of complicated, such as the placement of these kind of things, it helps you to to put to know where to put stuff. If that makes any sense, I, I don't know if it does or not. I mean, there, I'm sure there's plenty of videos on how to grid things out. I don't know. I don't watch other videos about stuff like that. I just figure things out on my own. So the way I do it may not be the way someone else does it anyway. These mountains are dry right here. I'm just throwing some collars in. Like I said, I want them. I want them to look distant. The light's coming in on this side. I want them to look distant, and they're going to be lighter on this side right here. And I put me some tape on the edges here also to keep my painting a little cleaner. Well, I'm probably just going to, I'm going to stop right here. This is my line. I got some pine trees in this area. I'm just going to bring these mountains down to here. And I'll probably do this off camera because this is taking a little bit of time. I don't want to waste your time. All I'm doing is putting white on one side and blue on the other pretty much. I'll mix them up a little better here in a minute. But let me finish these and I'll be back for the pine trees. All right, let's go ahead and get started on our pine trees. This is about what I want right here. This is far back, far back in the distance. I'm going to take some black 
and green. I usually put too much black. I, I think I'll try to make this a little more green today. We're going to start putting some pine trees. Let me kind of go ahead and see about where I want them. They're going to get bigger as they go to the right. I'm just trying to do some placement here of where I think where I think they ought to be. I brought the mountain down a little bit further than I I wanted to because I wasn't sure about these pine trees. Now you got to make sure you cover up this white behind them. This white canvas. And I think I think we can do that. Let me just go ahead and finish, make sure I am covering this white canvas up. You just got to make them wide enough here at the bottom. Just make sure they're wide enough at the bottom is the main thing. So far they are, and I think we can finish them out like this. Uh, let's put one more right here, and then I'll start making them a little bigger. This one's going to be right in here. And the next one, let me go ahead and do this. Get ahead of myself here. As I said, make sure they're close enough to cover up this white canvas back here. This next one will be right here. See, they're getting taller. You can have a little tiny bit of white showing through, but not much. Because I'm going to go over these again and put some greenish, put a greenish tone on them anyway. Put a greenish tone on them. And then I'll put my highlights on them, like you guys have seen me do before, the yellow. Now they're, they're going to start getting real big. There's a real big one right here. It goes clear to the top. So I'm going to start working on that. Start making them big quickly. These trees will be in the front. might just have room for one more big tree because it's clear up to here I'm trying to think does it go out of the canvas or I mean off the out of the window I don't have my iPad that's all right we'll figure it out this is gonna be a doozy this is gonna come all the way down I'm thinking I'm going to make it just come all the way with the top sticking out. I'm going to put this one right in front of the window, I believe. At least I think. Yes, this one does. I had to go back and look. <laughs> I had to stop the camera for a second and go back and look and make sure I was doing this right. Yes, this goes all the way through the top. I do have a picture I'm looking at today. Thank goodness. I'll bring it down. I don't think I'll bring it. I think I'll probably stop it right in here. Yeah, I think that's probably good right there. I'm going to go ahead and put some water in here. 
this water is going to be dark so let me get me some Prussian blue mix it with some phthalo blue and see what kind of result we get let me mix it with a little black try not to get any of this green that I have in this black I'll probably have to adjust this collar a little bit. It's probably a little too dark, perhaps. But that's what we do. We adjust as we're going along. You have to make adjustments. For now, that's probably good. I'll have to work on that here in a minute. Let's go ahead. Let's put a little grass in. Let me give me a different brush. I believe if the sun's coming down this way, this should all be pretty light. In my mind, that's what I'm thinking. I'm using some quite a bit of yellow here because when I blend it against these trees it's going to create darkness anyway so I'm not too worried about that okay let me get to another brush I'm just going to use the same dirty brush I'm just going to wipe it off with it I think I will maybe I better not because it, it's going to mess my yellow up I'm going to start here. Try to stay out of that black as much as I can for the moment. It's going to be hard to do. <laughs> Just come on down and get this green. That's probably good for now. Probably have to go over that grass. Like, well, I know it will, but I'm going to go ahead and lighten these up just a little bit and then I'll bring you back for the highlights. All right, I'm starting to highlight my trees. I got my palette setting down because I have to hold a paper towel in my hand when I do this. You got to wipe this off every time the sun's coming on this way. I'm going to highlight the left side of these trees. I'm taking cad yellow light. And I'm just, I'm just touching the left side of the trees. I'm trying to define which trees are in front of what. It kind of, in front of which one, it kind of separates the trees. That way you can tell which trees in front of what. Which tree is in front of the other tree. That's what I'm trying to say. Gosh, should have had more coffee this morning, I think. But anyways, this is what this is how I do it. If you've never seen me do it this way, but ain't seen anyone do it this way before, you probably have. I would think, because I do know of at least at least one other person that does it this way. But I think it looks really nice doing it this way. It just really makes the trees pop sometimes. I'm just barely touching it. It just gives it that color as if the sun is just kissing the top of the trees. Sun kissed. And that's, this is what I do. I'm going to do every one of these this way. I think I'll bring this one on down. And give it the appearance of being in front of the last one. But you have to wipe your brush off each and every time because you 
I just put these trees in and they're really, really wet. And I do mean they are wet. Big time. I'll stop that one right there and I'll bring this next one down in the front. Really what I'm doing now, this, this inner picture is really the fastest part of the painting. <laughs> This other stuff here, this window frame on the outside or the inside of the house, that's what's going to take some time. This, this part right here is not too awful bad. I've probably been working on this uh, 45 minutes maybe. But this window frame is, is where all the work's going to be because you have to go kind of slow. That will be the slow part of the painting. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish these on out. And then we'll get started on some grass, some water, and then we'll start on the outside. All right, what I'm doing now is I went ahead and finished that and I worked on my grass. I'm putting some reeds in the front. In case you don't know, reeds is something you find near water sometimes or just like little plants sticking up. I took some brown and some uh, brown and yellow ochre, I believe, yes. And I just took my brush and I went up along the edges and made this. And now I'm taking some black and I'm hitting it at the bottom and just pulling up. And we got to reflect this into the water also. That's just black I'm using right there. I'm just, I, hopefully you can see that. So now I'm going to put them in the water. Yes, I use yellow ochre and burnt umber. Because I'm getting that right now. And I'm going to reflect these back into the water the best that I can. Might need some more ochre. Kind of wipe your brush off too because I just put all this in here. It's, everything is wet. Don't have to be perfect. We just want to see some type of reflection in the water. Don't have to be perfect. See, that's fine. Yellow ochre, burnt umber. We're just reflecting it back in the water. Make sure we got enough. And now I'm going to take some black. Got to keep wiping your brush off. And I'm going to put some black here and pull down. Just like we did on the top part. And then we're going to blend it. Try to give it a nice water reflection. And then we'll about, just about be ready to start on the outside here. And as, and as I said, that's what's going to take the time, most of our time. This is just a nice basic picture here. But this takes a lot of trim and a lot of slow work. So we're going to pull our reflections down. I got a paper towel, always wipe it off. Crossed. 
I did this too heavy the other day and had to redo them all because I wiped, basically wiped my reflections off. <laughs> okay. I think that's good. Let's see what we got behind the curtain here. Hopefully nothing happens. Nothing pulls off that ain't supposed to. Let's go. Take your time. Go slow. Let me see if I can get a hold of this. And, and I'm going to give you some advice. Take this tape off while this paint is wet. If you wait till it dries, you might have some stuff come off you don't want to come off. Now we're going to do the slow part. Let's see if I can get a hold of this here. Okay. Well, that's a good view, ain't it? <laughs> Let me get started on some of this and then I'll bring you back show you what I'm doing. All right, let me show you what I'm doing here. Well, as I said, this is very slow. I got to be honest. The, this collar here, this, the lighter collars, and I've already done it here, is yellow ochre and burnt sienna. I'm just, I'm just mixing them together. This seems to be a this seems to match pretty well. You can see it there. And this is acrylic. This is what I put on to begin with. This is oil I'm using now. But see, that's a pretty good match. Yellow ochre, burnt sienna. And I'm going around slowly and trimming all this out. It's a slow process. What I'm doing here is kind of fast, this part. <laughs> but going around these edges of the windows is very slow. But I just want to show you what I'm mixing, in case you're painting at home. Yellow ochre and burnt sienna. This is the light that's reflecting. If you'll see here in a little bit. After I get it on there, it'll make more sense. But I just want to show you what I was doing and what I was mixing. And I'll keep working. All right, I just want to show you what I'm doing again. And as you can guess, I'm still working on this. <laughs> it, this is going to take a while. I mean, it's, that's all there is to it. But I just wanted to bring you back. I'm just taking my sweet old time. Because you have to. You kind of have to. I mean, you don't have a choice. Um, I guess I'm going to start up here. Yes, yeah, this, this is... You ever trim the inside of your house? You go around the trim, that's the slow part. You roll it on with the roller, that's the fast part. Well, this is the trim. This is the slow part right here. I still have to go around these windows again. Oh, don't forget, this is glass. This is reflecting that. I didn't show you that a while ago. you got to put your reflection in there. Let me get me some more. It's not that hard to do to put that reflection in. It looks like it would be, but... It's not that bad because it don't have to be perfect because it's a reflection. Yeah, this is slow and methodical. But, you know, it's part of it. Not everything's quick. And I'm using a flat brush. This is all I really have for this. Uh, that's probably the best thing you could use, just a flat brush. This top part here is reflecting light that I'm doing right now. Yeah, I seen this picture and I thought... Actually, this picture is, doesn't go with this frame as far as what I picked out because I don't want to do exactly what I see in a picture. Because you just really shouldn't do that. But I did use this frame from one picture and this from another picture. That's what you should do. You don't really want to use copy something exactly. You get in trouble for that. If you're a creator, if you're if you're the one putting stuff on YouTube, you will. You won't get in trouble for watching it.
You creators out there know what I'm talking about. But I thought, yeah, it had been a long time since I've done one of these. Looking through a window. I might do a few more coming up. I like changing things around, changing things up. So you don't get bored. I mean, I get bored easy too. I like to see different stuff. Some things are better than others, though, I will say. But this is the slow part. We'll get it done, though. I'd like to get this done today. I'm going to keep working on it until hopefully I do get it done today. All right. I'm still going to keep working on it. I'll bring you back in a few minutes. All right, guys. I'm just about ready to wrap it up. I'm just going around, just touching things up. That's all I'm doing. And like I said, I, I can't show you all these. That just took me forever. I, I probably spent two hours doing this. An hour and a half, two hours. <laughs> somewhere in there and I'm just going around now I've got my iPad out I'm just seeing what I possibly missed I'm just touching up yeah the hardest part of this painting was doing the trim but that's okay as long as it looks good I mean that's what we're after as long as it looks good. I hope you enjoyed this one. I, I think it turned out really well. I mean, I like it. I, I really do. I'm not just saying it. <laughs> Some of them I do. I, I'm kind of like, eh. But I think this one turned out pretty good. Let's see. I may want to go ahead and stop while I'm ahead before I mess something up. Actually, I see one more spot up here if I can get to it. I gotta kind of hold my elbow, hold steady. There's a little bit of, I hope my big head's not in your way. There's a little bit of light right there. Let's see, where else is there some light at? A little bit down this edge. You gotta be careful. I'm almost holding my breath. Gotta be careful. It may not seem like that big a deal, but sometimes it can be. I mean, sometimes the little things is what matters the most. All right, I think we might we might call that a wrap. Well, folks, that looks like it's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this painting. I, I really like it. I think it turned out really well. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe for more future videos. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.